The most effective way to use a document camera with a smart board is to capture an image of whatever document that you want to show, save it into Notebook, and then interact with it in Notebook, not just writing on the paper underneath the document camera. And that's true if you have an iPad that you're going to use as a document camera. So here we're going to take a look at two ways that you can capture the images and then get them into Notebook so you can interact with the content in a more meaningful, interactive, student-centered way. So I'm going to open the camera app. Let's say we wanted this time for kids. I can zoom in a little bit by tapping with two fingers and spreading them apart. I can tap in different places to focus. I have it where I want it. This is one page of this two-page article. So I tap the circle button to select it. Now I can move to the second page, get it focused, and capture that second image. And you're going to want to do this in an area that has the most light possible. Now you can do this with or without a stand. You don't necessarily have to have a stand to be able to take these images. Now what I'm going to do is plug my USB cable into the computer and then plug the other end into the iPad. Now a Windows 7 machine will bring this up. A Windows XP will bring up the window that asks what you want to do when this is connected and you would select the camera and scanner wizard. I'll give these images TFK tag so that will become part of the title. Import. Here are my pages. Now that I've imported my images to my computer in Notebook, I can do Insert, Picture, find the pictures. Here's the one with the TFK, and this was page one, so I can select it. So it needs to be rotated, so I can grab the handle to rotate it, move it, and then right click on it, lock in place. If we're going to use this to annotate, look for connections, write on it, I'm going to want it locked down so the background doesn't move if we're erasing or pointing to something. Then I need the second page so I can go to a new page, insert picture, select my second page, same thing. Rotate it, right click, lock, lock in place then I could save this file and those images will be saved in that file. Save it to my desktop and then I can open it from there when we need it again. That's taking the pictures and importing them to the computer. So they're actually saved on the computer. Another way to do it is to import them directly from the camera, directly into Notebook. So I have Notebook open. I've taken a picture. I've plugged the iPad in same as I did before. This time I'm going to go to insert picture from scanner. Now it doesn't really make sense but that's what it is. I will select my source which is the WIA Apple iPad and then click scan. So here are all the pictures that are on there. There are the pictures that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one and then I'll hold down the control that'll allows me to select more than one and then get pictures so it put them both on one page if you do it that way and you select more than one you're gonna get the images on just one page you can create a new page and then drag the image here to the page sorter and then down to the blank page Or you could just do that same process and do one page at a time. 